shooter, when he entered, he went straight towards the right. He never came towards the left. The left room, which is considered like the hip hop room, that's where the majority of my friends were, and that's why we didn't get hit by any of the bullets because we automatically hit the floor and we started like trying to find somewhere to escape. But everybody that was pretty much in the right room either got injured or kind of ran out through the other back door. What's the right room called? What is that? Um, I guess like hip hop room. Um, they just have like a really long bar there and um, there's everywhere. So do you think he was working with somebody else? Is that what? I mean, I'm pretty sure it was more than one person. Um, I, you know, like I said, I heard two guns going at the same time. Um, you know, and it, and it was just, it was very, very, very crazy. How long did you shoot him? I, I want to say it lasted for about eight minutes. Like, he wasn't stopping. He just kept on shooting and shooting and shooting and just was walking around. Was it rapid around. fire? Was it single shot? No, it was rapid fire. It's like, and then he'd like change, put another ammunition, and then change, put another ammunition. And I could just smell the ammo in the air. And I was like, this is a gun. This isn't fireworks. Like, we need to leave. Um, but I think that, like, we just need to create a better awareness too. Like, you know, just when you're going out, like even if you go to like movie theaters and stuff like that, like always know where your exits are. That's that's one big takeaway that I have from this situation because I mean, I feel like I could have saved a lot more people if we knew where the proper exits were. So in a moment of desperation, we're all crawling on the floor trying to find a place to exit. And I look to my right and I see that a lot of people are going through some curtains. So we start digging through the curtains and we finally see a door and we try to like actually leave the door and exit the door. Um, as we're getting out of the door, there's a very like narrow, narrow passage. It must have been like maybe this thick, and there's probably like 50 people trying to like jump over each other and just like exit the place. And there was a guy kind of holding the door, and the guy was holding the door, not letting us exit. But we're so like, what's going on? He's like, no, you guys have to stay inside, stay inside. And as he's saying that, the, the the shooter keeps getting closer and closer, and like the sound of the of the of the bullets are getting closer and closer. So everyone starts to panic. People are getting like trampled and stuff, and like you know we're like let us out, let us out. And the first thing that came to my mind is if it's an altercation between two people, you know like oh I don't I don't like this person or whatever, then you have an automatic handgun and you just like you know shoot or whatever. But the fact that somebody came in there and out of nowhere all you hear is like I was like this has to be some type of either hate crime or I, I have no idea what it is. And then I put two and two together and I was like this guy's trying to prevent us from leaving the club. Maybe they're working together. 